I finally hit Prestige 1 in Black Ops 6. One cool thing I didn't realize until now is that when you do Prestige, you actually unlock more XP for doing all of your daily challenges. Like, each of the individual challenges give you the same amount of just, like, 2,500 XP. But once you complete all of them, rather than just getting, like, a bonus 3,000 XP, you get 5,000. So I'm definitely gonna need to do that because, like, as soon as I Prestige, it gave me a new set of daily challenges, even though I complete the ones before that. So we'll have to get that done then. But basically, just to go over what happens when you Prestige, first you unlock the Noctrader skin for Weaver, which looks absolutely awesome and then you get a permanent unlock token which i am going to be using for the as val then since you don't unlock that until literally like the final level so definitely going to do that uh, you get a loading screen for doris you get a perka cola gobble gum pack which uh contains a one hour xp token and the perkaholic on the house soda fountain who's keeping score and stock option gobble gums then you get a zombie breach emblem and insta kill charm which looks really sleek and then the teddy is a liar blueprint which you unlock those like as you you go like uh obviously the skin you get instantly but then you have to hit level 10 to get the loading screen 20 for the gobble gun pack and so on and so forth uh so forth every 10 levels i'm not gonna lie i am a little bummed because it relaunched <laughs> so much of my stuff i mean obviously you know i'm a classic con player i already knew to expect this going into the prestige but it's like man you know i was just getting into the flow of things you know messing around with my wild cards and my classes and using gunfire uh gunfighter to get a bunch of different attachments on my weapons and such but uh now we're back to square one, but again, you know, I've been begging for this ever since, well, Modern Warfare 2019, where I was like, hey, you know, I really want Classic Prestige back. It took him half a decade to do it, but here we are. We finally have Classic Prestige back, and I could not be happier. As I said in last night's video, it truly does breathe, like, a whole new life into the game, having this extra grind to go for outside of just the usual... Oh, you know, I did my mastery camos, or I'm finished with the battle pass. Now what? Well, now we have this to go for, and even after you finish the first 10 prestiges, you have those final 1,000 levels to go for. So I am so happy that they finally brought this back. Anyway, I'm going to be a little bit of a sweaty noob and jump into face-off right off the rip, because uh, the, the grind does not stop. We're just going to keep going through the prestiges. I said it before, you know, as much as I want to go for Dark Matter and Nebula, my main concern is going for Prestige Master. I mean, as you can see here, I have been grinding camos. Like, I've been doing it passively. Like, I'm still going for it in the back of my mind as I unlock weapons and such. It's just that my main concern is Prestige Master. So, you know, even though Prestiging means that that's gonna slow down my progress dramatically, I don't care. I want Prestige Master. Get five kills with the Spring Field. Wait, do I even have that? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so Spring Mine, go ahead and slap that on. And then what else do I need? Five double kills? Since I'm level one, I probably can Oh, I just realized that. That's actually really cool because obviously, usually you don't unlock Creative Class until level four, but once you Prestige, they let you keep it anyway. So that's really cool. All right. 10 headshots with sniper rifles, baby. We can do this. I hope. I'm gonna try to get this done with the brainstorm sniper rifle, just because, I mean, you know, it's one of the vault edition ones. Let's see if they just... Okay, yeah, there we go. There's one headshot right off the rip. We're doing good. We're one-tenth of the way there. Homie is laying down. That was a body shot. The flinch is insane. There we go. That's a two. We were off to a good start, but now I'm really struggling to get these done, man. Everybody's running around all crazy. I was saying in one of the last videos, like, you know, I... I enjoy sniping on this game. I really do. It's just that trying to do it in the face-off maps, it's like... You can do it, but you, you like, you just really shouldn't. See, a part of me is kind of tempted to back out and see if maybe we can go just find, like, a normal core match, but I can't, I just, I can't do that to my teammates, you know? I just, I can't back out of a match. Once I leave that match, the only thing that will be on the mind, on my mind for the rest of the day will be, did my team win or lose that match? And if they lost, was it my fault? And even if, theoretically, my teammates would forget about that loss, like, you know, like, literally 30 seconds after the match happens, I, I don't care. I would still feel bad. That would literally keep me up for, like, the next three nights yeah, this is a lot more difficult than i thought it was going to be dude like everybody is going absolutely insane right now you know what i'm just gonna whip out the bug smasher and then maybe if we get a map that you know would be a bit better for sniping then i'll try it again but oh man yeah it's not happening on pit we got the spring mine field upgrade uh, i i wanted to plop it down so i get this challenge done but i'm getting beamed okay so i'm just gonna toss it down and hope that it ends up killing somebody because that's one of the challenges that i need i'm just gonna toss a frag and hope that that helps with my double kills come Oh my gosh, man. Everybody is sweating so hard, homie. It's just a match of pit. Calm down. There we go. We just got a double kill. You know what? Let me give the snipers one more chance. I just... I, wa I really do want to get this challenge done, but again, the flinch is like so insane and everybody's sweating so hard. I hope that there's a stock for the snipers to help with the flinch because I will say, man, when you're, when you're just 
trying to be at least somewhat precise and they start shooting you like you can't really do anything see if it was sniper eliminations that wouldn't be so bad it's just the fact that it's headshots because obviously like everybody's diving and sliding and jumping and all that and on a map this tight eh. And you can quick scope on a map like this, but like getting the headshot specifically, that's rough. There it is. There's defeat. All right, we'll see what happens in the next 11 and 29. Yeah, I was literally just running around with a sniper the whole time, just trying to get that challenge done. Okay, I got one of the double kills done, two of the headshots done. I didn't get a single kill with the spring mine. I mean, I tossed it down right in the middle of the map. I'm not sure how nobody ran into it. One thing I will say is that it would be nice if maybe they could change it so that when you prestige, all of your extra classes just stay on. I mean... Uh, you, you guys literally watch me do it. It takes two seconds to spam the button a few times to make some more classes, but I had to, like, rename each of the ones because, as you can see, it just changes as a custom loadout one, whereas I would like it to be named, like, custom loadout six and then seven and so on and so, so forth. Like, I'll have to go through and do that then, but, uh... Man, I don't know. What what should I try to use to get these double kills in the next match? An SMG? Maybe an LMG. Yeah, let's get a little newbie with it. Let's go ahead and use an LMG. Oh, yeah, there we go. We'll get the fast mag going. Actually, no, if we're going for double kills, I'm just going to spray and pray. Uh, long barrel suppressor. Yeah. Gala? All right, yeah, this map ought to work a bit better for what I'm trying to get done. Maybe I should use that other sniper because, like, the Brainstorm one is cool and all. I don't even know what the name of the default sniper is. Uh, the LR7.62. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, the, uh, the LW3A1 Frost line, this one... This one seems to be a bit quicker. Ooh, we're... We're playing kill order. I don't know if I should really be going for sniper headshots on this mode. Similar to the last match, I already know this one's going to absolutely butcher my KD, but uh, I don't even care at this point. I just want to get these done. I need that XP, baby. It's funny, when you're in the moment and you're the one running around sliding, jumping like a bunny rabbit and being insane with the Omni movement, it doesn't feel that bad. But when you try to like slow down and you're just trying to get these methodical headshots, man, you do kind of realize how obnoxious you are. And that's coming from the guy that doesn't even sweat that much. Like, sure, some games I'll go a little hard if i really want to win that domination match or something but man that wasn't a headshot come on now like i can get one shot one kills for days like i i, I can pop off with this sniper right now it's just that that's not what i need man there we go that's a headshot and a wall bang all right come on i'm gonna I'm get him through the wall just poke your head out again i know you're still hanging back there homie i really just need to use like a semi-auto se are you kidding me there we go that's another headshot baby there we go. Oh! I had a little itch on my face. I was just gonna go, like, itch under my nose right there. I <laughs> banged my finger on the desk, dude. That hurt. There we go. There's another headshot. If I can get at least one more before this match ends, that'll be pretty cool. Hold on. There's my chance right here. Come on, come on. No, stop choking, Nathan. Stop choking. I just... I really need one of these headshots, please. Buddy, can you please poke your head out again? No, somebody mounts up right there. Yes, thank you. That is a headshot. Okay, I just need like three more now. Somebody please, please mount up again. Wait, <gasps> HVT, H no, HVT, come back. HVT, come back. Somebody, how did that miss? Come on, mount up. Yeah, you know you want to. You know you want to. Come on, come on, come on. No, I just, please, I need to be precise if I'm going to shoot. I need, there we go. There's another headshot. I just need two more. No! <laughs> I'm the HVT, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be the HV. Don't make me be the HVT. Oh, no. That's the end of the match. Okay, I just need two more headshots. That's all I need. This guy knows what's up. He's rocking the Red Tiger camo. Yeah, that's one of my favorite camos in the game already. It's so slick. Wait, that just made me think. If Red Tiger's in the game, is Blue Tiger in the game? It's funny because all the time that I spend trying to get this XP from the daily challenge, I probably would get more XP for just playing the game normally, even when you account for, like, the full bonus of, like, completing all the challenges just but die it is what it is i think stakeout will be a decent option so i'm gonna vote for that one and then yeah that's what i want to see so we have red tiger here over in multiplayer and then over oh it's purple tiger i, I mean that's still cool obviously i was hoping to be like blue tiger or something because i always love that camo but that's all right purple tiger school i mean hey at least i'm getting some of the camo challenges done for this i mean i haven't used this weapon at all over in zombies yet but there we go we're eight out of 100 headshots on that so that's a start we unlocked a fire mod what's that bullet velocity oh, i was hoping it'd be for like rapid fire or something this is the match i will get it done man that camo is very green oh my goodness that's elimination, but not a headshot. Wait, there's somebody back there. Come on. No, no, I did not just hit marker them. I did not just hit marker them. Please. That was like that was like my one chance. Oh, was that? No, that's a one shot. How was it not a headshot? I was aiming so high. Come on, man. Every time I try to get posted up to get this stupid headshot, they keep running up from me. Like, what are you doing, you freaking moron? Stop camping out the spawn. Okay, I got another one shot, one kill, but not a headshot. There we go. There's a headshot. All right, come on, baby. Just one more headshot. Let me just... 
Come on. No, Woods. Woods, stop running away from me, buddy. Wait, what the heck? I got 10 headshots. When did I... Wait, it... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is there a headshot that I missed? It said that I got to... Um, you know what? I'm not even going to question it. Okay, I'm just going to go back to using... I'll, I don't know. I need, I need to get some double kills done, so I guess I'll use a shotgun. Why not? Actually, no, I forgot I need to use the spring mine field upgrade. So let me use this for a minute. Was that... Was that a double kill? I mean, that was... Yeah, there we go. That's a double kill. That's another double kill. Yeah, like I said, these are so easy. Man, I, I'm a bad influence, man. Everybody on the enemy team is sniping it out. You can see it popping up at the kill feed. Oh, what have I created? Come on, maybe just one more double kill before the game ends. That's one. I... Messing up, man. The spring mine is ready. I'm just gonna toss it. Please get me at least one kill. Let me get my last double kill. There we go. There's... Like, why? And there it is, defeat. Whatever. I, I still have, like, four hours to do it. I'll just, I'll just do it in my own time, then. I need one double kill, and then five kills with the spring mine, which I've used two of those, and I haven't gotten anything yet. So I guess I just need to toss it down in front of somebody's feet and hope that it gets them. And hey, like I said on the bright side, we got some of the camos done here. So I'm one-tenth of the way done with the um, LW3A1 frost line. But anyways, with that, yeah, I'm probably just gonna call it there for this video. Uh, you know, we got some of the daily challenges done. Like I said, I'll just go off camera and get those done, then get that extra bit of XP, and then I'll have to do the ones over in zombies as well, since those would have got refreshed as well. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm glad that I finally prestige. This skin looks freaking awesome. And the other rewards, not just for prestige one, but just even like beyond that, like there are so many cool rewards that you unlock along the way. So I am really excited to continue the prestige master grind. And I also just realized that now that I prestiged, I have a whole set of, uh, yeah, prestige calling cards to go for here, which would be cool, which will also help me get extra XP and all that. As they say, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. And right now, I mean, what can I say? I'm absolutely loving the journey. Black Ops 6 is a fantastic game, and yeah, I'm excited for the day of grinding ahead of me. But anyway, as always, massive shout out to all the patrons and channel members. Thank you all doing the low ball tier, and an even bigger shout out to all the mid ball tier. Mill asking MB Dad Maddie, and the biggest shout out to all the G tier. Run events on the cheese girl. Thank you guys so much, guys. You're literal legends. I love you. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.